Hello guys, my name is Jens and I just wanted to show how to use data source in a more advanced way uh, and I've made a little script I want to show you later but first of all what I've, what I've been doing here you can see a lower third I have uh, set up say now playing and it has a title uh, of a song, a track going on, you can't hear it, I have it in a list over here and if I turn up the volume you can hear it yes, there it goes, and if I mute it again so I have this list and this is the track playing currently um, I've brought this uh, in so it's dynamically um, updating so if I choose another song it will automatically update um, bringing in the data needed for that and also to the left I have some colors changing over here so I want to show you how you can accomplish this your, your own on your own so I can just close out um, the things I've been going on here so both the, the lower third and the and the, the list, so first of all we create the list we're going into add input and we choose list and I can say ok, so I just created a empty list but what I wanted to do is to go to my desktop so in the background here I have made a folder called music and if I bring that one in I can see I have a list of music uh, tracks and I can drop them into the list and they are all going to be added I just want to ensure that the, uh, the list is looping and I can see here that I can turn on the vo uh, volume I turn it a bit down and I can double click to play it no, not to play it, just to choose and there it goes so I've been I've created the list with the music I have um, wanted now that was the first part and um, and I also want to create it, create the lower third so I'm going to add input title and I can choose recent and I have some recent one I've been using this is from a free uh, graphics pack uh, animated graphics lower thirds I've been using uh, actually quite a lot but I can see that the title here just chose it and I say uh, now playing in the title and the subtitle that's the important one I, I don't uh, want to type in something myself I want uh, something dynamic so I choose data source and here comes the tricky part I don't have set up a data source yet so I just wanna uh, wait with that one so the next part is how do I bring in the data so two things if I just show my browser here this is the link to the API so that's from the web controller if I just delete this you see the web controller but if I type in slash API I get the data from within vMix which is represented uh, raw um, with text so for example I have the uh, the looping uh, list of music. I just if I have a, I, I turn it down so you so you can't hear that. But if I show it again, you can say here I have a list. Um, this is the this is the thing I want to grab some of it. Uh, some of the the text. Uh, actually, it's both represented here and also in the and the attribute called title here so that's the same data but what I'm going to do is to bring in that as a data source so I actually have brought it in already but I just want to delete this so you can see how I'm going to do that I'm going into XML and the URL for that the, the web controller API and then the XPath and I'm going to insert here so the XPath is called 
slash remix slash inputs slash input and then square brackets and then an add sign and this and that means I want a specific attribute which is equals to running and also the type it's video list which means I'm gonna grab it from a list I'm just reducing the, um, the searching so I get the specific one and I press OK and then it actually brings that one up for me I can see here the title is list Alan Walker fade which is the exact one chosen in, in, in my list so that's the first part and I can name this now playing yes so that's the first one but one thing I've tried to uh, manipulate here is I don't want to show the full title of, of this I just want to show that the artist is Alan Walker and the, the track is called Fate and I want to strip out uh, for example dot, uh, mp3 and also want list so like uh, the the title of the list I don't want to be uh, I don't want that to be represented in my title so I need to manipulate this a bit and one thing you can do if you just uh, want to um, strip out the dot mp3 you can open edit for your item and then strip it out and then it's actually gone uh, yeah it's all already represented in here but I have the title of the list uh, represented so that's uh, that's not good so what I've been doing is I've created a little uh, PHP script and that's running on my local machine and what it's basically doing it's uh, grabbing what's the what's the title of the list I want to strip out and what's the URL uh, what's the URL of the of the web controller I wanna um, I want to grab from and then I just replace uh, the wanted uh, for example the list name and the extension the file extension I want to uh, ex uh, replace that with nothing so just um, strip out that and then just uh, dump out all the, uh, the XML uh, data actually just more or less uh, as it were before so what you're gonna end up with is uh, I've just uh, opened it in, um, in this uh, tab and you see here it's called list uh, Alan Walker that force but the thing is that the list is not what I, what I wanted to hear so I can say here that the list is called list right now and then boom it's gone it just says Alan Walker force because that's the current playing song so what I'm going to do in my data sources is to swap out the URL so instead of this it's actually called called vmix and then mp3, MP3 remover I've called it .php and then the list was called list so that's what I'm going to do and it updates and it's the right one now so the last step is to update the lower third subtitle of that I update the data source to XML and I choose title and there it is so now I can play this one and with overview of the now playing the very last thing is I want the color to rotate over here so I bring up my data sources, data sources manager I press uh, new and choose a um, comma separated file that's what I want and I'm going to browse I'm going to my desk, desktop and I have one called colorstars.csv file and I was to want to use the first row as a column name and I can t uh, name this colors and I create that one and then you can see all the colors that I've uh, defined and you can see my colors here if I close down these windows and I can open this file it's right on my other desktop here there it goes so I made it a, a column column name column title called colors and then I've typed in the colors I wanted you can type in yourself if you want black white uh, you can then actually also t type uh, 
are hex hexadecimal code, like for example 0099FF. And I just hit file and save, and I can close that down again. Bring up my vmix and my data sources I have opened, and you can see these are already reflected here. And what I'm going to do is just to say auto next. So when I push that, it automatically uh, goes to the next um, color. So the last, very last step is to go under the title editor and want to swap out that it's not going to be red or black anymore. I choose it from a data source and that's from the colors and it's from the colors column. And there it is. I now have rotating um, colors and also a dynamic title of the current playing track on my list. So that was it for me. Thank you for watching.